our Royal Rumble is WWE's greatest event of the year. And what better way to celebrate it than to have 30 footballers fight it out in the middle of the ring. And have you ever wondered what 30 ballers chucking each other around the ring would look like? No, neither have we. No, nobody has, obviously. But today, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And I think it's about time for the first contestant to come out. And it's Paul Pogba who walks out in front of the crowd. He's got an old United kit on, probably from the last time he actually played for them. So Paul Pogba's hopped into the ring, but who's going to join him first in this Royal Rumble? And it's Barcelona's very own Gerard BK, ex of Manchester United. Not going to lie, even before this one starts, I've got to say, Paul Pogba's probably got to be doing better right now. So let's get straight into this one, and there is no messing about as Pogba slams BK to the ground. They're both coming in with pretty big punches, and honestly, they could be yellow card offences. But it's time for the first man to enter, and it's going to be Paolo Dybala from Juventus. Dybala straight in and straight in on Pogba. Maybe some tension from the Juve days. His elbow is a weapon. Could have probably chosen a safer place to enter the ring there, Marco. There's an array of footballers from the best clubs in the world all beating each other up right now. What else could possibly... Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is wearing a mask. What is going on? There is more action here than you could shake a stick at. It is absolute chaos. And finally, we got our first elimination. PK sends Aubameyang over the ropes. Colombia international James Rodriguez has now entered the fray and he's bullying Royce already. You gotta be careful. You gotta protect his ankles. Karma could be acting pretty fast for playground bully James Rodriguez because he's been clotheslined over and out by Paolo Dybala. Every two minutes Thereafter. Yeah, that's for stealing all our players. Royce going in for the kill now on new boy Manuel Neuer, but that's astonishing. Neuer hits him with the reverse and Royce is out. Brazil legend Ronaldinho is now in. Himself and Argentinian Dybala are teaming up to get rid of Paul Pogba. The first man in this Royal Rumble is gone, but more importantly, that looks nothing like Ronaldinho. Dybala's been killing it, but he looks in trouble and he is. He's eliminated by Manuel Neuer. Drogba going in for the final kill on Benzema, but he's sent over over the ropes, amazing stuff from Karim. Is that Harry Redknapp coming in? What is going on? Well, Nico Crankiar and Peter Crouch can't save you now, mate. Meanwhile, Harry Redknapp has still got it as he clotheslines Ronaldinho out of here. The new entrants are coming in thick and fast as Gareth Bale drives into the ring, but it's no hole in one for him. Get it? Because it's golf jokes. Thierry Henry fittingly is in at number 14 with his beautiful bold head. Meanwhile, Arturo Vidal of Barcelona is in and he's gone straight straight after Harry Redknapp. That is OAP abuse. Henri and Bale here working together to eliminate Iron Robin, and they've done so. All right, so now what? Quick thinking to avoid that one. Bayern Munich's Lewandowski enters the fray. And just moments later, Lewandowski's eliminating Gareth Bale. Wales, golf, WWE, in that order. Antoine Griezmann is now in, but is that Akin Fenwa steaming in at number 19? This is well unfair. He's like four times bigger than everyone else. Oh, but he's in trouble already, and Arturo Vidal has launched him out. The Egyptian King Salah is in, and he's wiped out Thierry Henry straight off the bat. Meanwhile, more chaos here as Aguero joins Henry by the sidelines. Sergio Ramos has arrived to try and do more damage to Salah, but he's preoccupied, eliminating Arturo Vidal and Ramos takes out Lewandowski which leaves Salah to try and get revenge on Ramos for that Champions League final. It's not exactly happening though. No. It's all right Liverpool teammate Virgil van Dijk is in now to try and save the day for Salah. Right and that's exactly what he's getting. No that's not for, for goodness sake man. Neymar is now into the ring and it's an immediate dive from him. What a shock. Two Barca boys in now. Luis Suarez and Lionel Messi joins him just afterwards. The glorious Pep Guardiola is is in. Meanwhile, Kylian Mbappe, who'd only just entered, is taken out by Neymar. Luis Suarez has now been eliminated, and his Barca teammate Messi could be about to join him. Some people's goat is gone, and Pep Guardiola joins him straight afterwards. One footballing great might be gone, but another has entered with Cristiano Ronaldo joining in the party. He's gone straight in for Mo Salah, and he's eliminated him as well. Zlatan Ibrahimovic now joins Ronaldo, Neymar, Van Dijk, and Ramos. But Ramos won't last long as Van Dijk avenges his Liverpool 
the ball teammates are are. The thirtieth and final man in is Jose Mourinho. What is going on here? Zlatan was eliminated by Jose Mourinho. He's on the floor now, but it's even worse for Van Dijk. He's on the floor and out of the ring. Neymar's still struggling, and now Mourinho's going after him. Can he get him eliminated? He can indeed. So this is it. It's down to the Portuguese all stars, Jose Mourinho and Ronaldo, to see who wins this footballing Royal Rumble. <laughs> Somebody just please do something. This could be tough news for Jose Mourinho. He's literally, metaphorically and physically on the ropes. And Ronaldo eliminates him. It's not the best way to treat your old manager. But Cristiano Ronaldo is your Royal Rumble champion. Regardless, there you have it. When you put 30 footballers and football managers in one ring, Cristiano Ronaldo is supposedly the man that comes out on top.